Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and here is the NFC Championship Playoff Prediction. Um, as you couldn't tell, I'm... I, I don't know. I don't know about this one. This one's a difficult one. Uh, both two good teams. Uh, the Seahawks, I think I think the Seahawks are the better team, honestly. Uh, but I, I don't know. I'm not going to... Ca Kaepernick only... Is that last year? That's got to be last year. But... I think the Seahawks are the better team. They got the better defense, even though the 49ers have a really good defense. But I think the okay, what a awful block. But I think the, I think the Seahawks have the better team. But that doesn't always mean that the better team wins. Uh, just because you're the better team, you still got to show up. But I think I think the 49ers are gonna win. I'm just gonna get it out. Of, I'm just gonna get it out there right now. I think the 49ers win. Uh, I think it's low scoring. I think I'm just gonna get to the punch real quick. I beat around the bush last last video with the AFC Championship game. I ain't doing that this time. Uh, I'm getting into it right away. I'm picking the 49ers to win it, 17 to 14. Um, and I think I think the 17 points are gonna be scored. By the end of the third, the 17 to 14 is going to be end of the third, and then nobody else is going to score for the rest of the game, and the defenses are just going to show up, and it's just going to be it's going to be a fight. I think it's it's going to be a great game. Uh, obviously, I'm more excited for the Patriots game because I'm a Patriots fan. But and let me address that real quick. Okay, I am an Eagles fan because of Michael Vick because he's my favorite player. So I have to. Well, I don't have to be in. An Eagles fan, but I am an Eagles fan because he plays there. But my favorite team is the Patriots. Uh, my favorite, my second favorite, and third favorite player is Tom Brady and Devin McCourty. Um, and then it's Charles Woodson and Ed Reed and Antonio Cromartie. But those are the Patriots are my favorite actual team, and I've liked them since 2000, which is like the first time I can remember liking football. As far back as you can remember. I remember Michael Vick in 99. I'm 18. I was born in 95. Uh, but that's about as far back as I can remember football wise. Uh, but yeah. Wanted to address that. Because people keep telling me I'm a bandwagoner. But why would I choose the Patriots to bandwagon? When I choose the Broncos. They're the ones that are clear. Or the Seahawks. They're the ones that are clearly above. Playing above the rest this year. But whatever but I think the defenses are going to be the huge key in this game I know it's kind of cliche but I think the quarterbacks the quarterbacks are going to play a huge part too uh Kaepernick and Russell Wilson I think Kaepernick won't have the greatest passing day but I think he has a good running day I think he he puts up some good yards running maybe 70 I think they I think they let him run a little bit I think he doesn't go over 200 yards passing though I think Russell Wilson surprises a little bit with his legs I think maybe he picks up uh, he picks up 60 yards. Not, I guess that's not really a surprise, but that's more than you would expect, kind of. Uh, but he gets 60 yards and maybe 250 passing. And then I think Frank Gore outrushes Marshawn Lynch. Okay, I just switched my play because I'm talking. But I think Frank Gore outrushes Marshawn Lynch. I think Frank Gore gets about 120 yards and Marshawn gets about 95. Um, and then... I don't know. I think it's gonna come. I think there's gonna be that one possession uh, where the Seahawks are gonna go for it on fourth inside the twenty, and they're not gonna get it, and that's gonna be the difference. If they would have kicked the field goal, it would have been a whole different story. But I think that's gonna be kind of one of the key things. It's gonna happen early in the game, and I think uh, I think something like that's gonna happen, and that's gonna really like that's gonna cost the Seahawks the game. Not really bad play, but just the misfortunate failed. Uh, fourth down, failed, uh, you know, failed conversion or something, or like a blocked punt, or um, a muffed punt, something like that. Something that Russell Wilson and the offense or the defense cannot control. A missed field goal, a botched extra point, something like that. I don't. I foresee something like that costing the Seahawks the game. As stupid as it sounds, that's what I see costing the Seahawks the game. Um, but I don't know. I really, these are two, these are the two, if I had to pick from the very beginning, these are the two games that I thought were going to happen. Even though I picked the Packers to beat the 49ers, I still thought this was 
this these two matchups were the most likely to come out, even though I kind of wanted the Packers to win because I wanted Aaron Rodgers to kind of come back and, and fight, but uh, that didn't really happen. But these are the two greatest. These are the four greatest teams from each, or two greatest teams from each division. I think at the moment, uh, the Patriots are always in the top three in the AFC. The Broncos are obviously the number one this year. Seahawks obviously number one in the NFC this year. And San Francisco top four this year, uh, but obviously they're number two right now. Maybe number one if they can upset the Seahawks, go back-to-back -back Super Bowls, uh, see if they can take one home. But the the big thing is with this game is the offenses, really. I said it was the defenses earlier, but it's really the offenses um, and how good and how well they can move the ball on these exceptionally stellar uh, t defenses, these above-average defenses. It's going to be one weird Super Bowl because the AFC really... Patriots aren't all offensive-oriented, but the Broncos are. A Broncos-Seahawks matchup would be interesting because of the offensive firepower versus the defense. Uh, it'd just be really interesting to see. The Patriots 49ers, it's a meh matchup. It's what I'm predicting, but it's a meh matchup. The Patriots Seahawks wouldn't be a bad one. Uh, Russell Wilson's throwing the ball all over me right now while I'm talking. Uh, but that one wouldn't be a bad one to see because the Patriots do have a, I would say, an above average defense. I'd say like 12th, like a 12th ranked defense. They sure don't have like a top five or a top. Uh, they might, they may be tenth. They have a really good interception. They like they not interception. They have really good turnovers. They get a lot of turnovers. They let up a lot of yards, but they get turnovers. Um, and then I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this game. Uh, what you guys think will be the key, and uh, which quarterback you think will outduel the other. Which running back will outduel the other. Uh, who will have the bigger like? Like, uh, what am I trying to say? The bigger impact on the game. Who's going to have that? Is it going to be Dante Whitner? Just got that pick on Russell Wilson. We're going to score. We're going to score before the end of the half. This is how it's going. You can see it. This is going to be the score. If I score at the end of the first half, I'm calling it right now. If you're going to be 7 nothing, I'm not turning the ball over. Block. Block. No. Okay, we're hurrying up. We're not calling a timeout. Screw that. This is going to be the score. My real prediction is... I'm going to go 14-10. I think I predicted something earlier, but I'm going 14-10 right now. Bad throw. Picked off by Richard Sherman. Shouldn't have thrown that. Uh, but there we go. Making two predictions. 14-10 and 7 nothing. Unless Russell Wilson scores here. With 8 seconds left. We're just going to back up. Everybody. Prevent... I like man D prevent instead of that weird zone. Uh, because at least your guy stays with his man. Oh, Tremaine Brock really whiffed the tap. Oh, okay, one second left. Russell Wilson, heave it to the end zone. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, will enjoy the playoffs this weekend as much as I am going to. I'm just going to... I don't think I'm going to watch it with anybody but myself. I'm going to sit down... And I'm just, oh, ho, ho, oh, Jeremy, curse. I'm just going to sit down. I'm going to get some Buffalo Wild Wings. I might have a friend or two over. We may watch the game. And it's going to be one heck of a party while, we, while I either chill out by myself and be on Twitter and doing crap on my laptop and watching the game or whether I have some people over and we're watching the game and whatnot. But let me know what you guys are going to do for it. Uh, it's going to be one great Sunday. But I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.